assalamu alaikum if you have really been following our videos you know that we are now on the series of forming the arabic verbs which we call the arabic um, verb morphology and in the last episode in the last three episodes we had discussed the al fail thulathi al mujarrad which is some um, the triliteral verbs the triliteral bear verbs many verbs which have all of their three letters as the original letters of the verb that if you omit any of these three letters it will change and alter the meaning and today what i want us to do is to continue with the third pattern for the triliteral verbs recall that we said the triliteral verbs have six patterns the nasorayan suru the fat the doro bayadribu fatahaftahu farihayafrahu hasibayahsibu and kalumayakrumu and um the two previous episodes we brought example 20 examples each for the first pattern and the second pattern so today we want to also provide you with 20 examples for the third pattern which is the um fataha yafta who hope you are ready so we are going to be giving you 20 verbs which fall under this pattern so that you will know how to form the past tense present tense and also the command tenses of these 20 verbs knowing that they fall under this third pattern which is the fataha yaftahu you see that as we said earlier in the link please that we can watch the video if you have not watched it that um the first three patterns of the six patterns we have for the triliteral verbs the first three patterns in their past tenses they are the same because they all have fata 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 you can see the second letters of the first pattern which is the nasara it has fata the second letter of the rubber has fata and if the second letter of fataha also have fatha. But coming to the um to the modori, which is the present tense, you see that this is where the changes occur. While in the nasara, the second letter now changes to dum having dumma, the um doroba, the second letter kesra, and the fataha, the second letter still remains in having fatha. So today I want us to look at a 20 examples which fall under this category. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Oh, the serious hits, mashallah. So now um, the first example we have here today is the word rohala. Rohala. You can see rohala. It sounds the same with fataha. Rohala. So fataha means what? He opened. And yaftahu, which is the present tense, means he is opening. So rohala means he traveled. He journeyed. He went on a journey. So the present tense, which must fall under this category, should also have the same realization, which is Ya rahalu, you can see fataha rahala, yaftahu ya rahalu, the same. So the second letter, which is the ha, maintains the fatha, unlike the two previous patterns. So rahala ya rahalu. So rahala, he traveled, ya rahalu, he is traveling. Don't worry, we'll come up with all the um, um, episodes where we shall be discussing how to because what we have just formed here is for the third person alone we'll be forming the second person singular second person plural second person dual third person plural third person dual and others inshallah so let's continue with this so to form an example using this word we can simply say yarahabu abi ila baitin jadidin my father is traveling to a new house yarahalu abi ila baitin jadid my father is traveling to a new house so rahala yarhalu the second word for an example today is the word hadath bahatha the word bahatha so bahatha means he searched to search for something or somebody so the present tense will be what yabahathu bahatha yabahathu an example we can simply say yabahathu tiflu an makan ikhtifai astiqai the baby is searching for the place of hide he, he, of hiding of his friends the baby is searching for the place where his friends have hidden themselves so you can see bahatha yabahathu also the same as fataha yaftahu the same realization now another example we can see here under this category is the word saala saala which means he asked he questioned the present tense should be what yes alu saala yes alu saala yes alu like fataha yaftahu so an example we can simply say jaa yes alu anhu he came to ask after him he came to ask after him jaa yes alu anhu so yes alu is the present tense 
Another example that we have is the word manaa. Manaa. Manaa means he prevented, he stopped somebody or he avoided, he stopped somebody from doing something. So the present tense will be what? Yamnau. Manaa, yamnau. You can see the second letter known still maintain its fatha in the present tense. So we have manaa, yamnau. An example we can say yamnau al qadi al muttahama an al miraf. Yamnau al qadi al muttaham an al miraf. The judge prevented the accused from the inheritance. The judge prevented the accused from taking from the inheritance. So yamnau al qadi al muttaham min al an al miraf. So we can see the word manaa yamnau also fall under this pattern, the number three pattern. So, so another example under this pattern is the word zaro'a. Zaro'a, the present tense would be yazro'u. Zaro'a, he planted. Yazro'u, he is planting. Present tense. An example we can see yazro'u al-fallahu al-ardo. The farmer is planting the land. The farmer is planting the land. Yazro'u. You can see it maintains the fatha. The second letter maintains the fatha in the um, present tense. Another word which falls under this pattern is the word rofa'a. Rofa'a. Rofa'a means he raised, to lift something. He raised. So, ya rofa'u, he is raising. So, rofa'a, ya rofa'u. Rofa'a, ya rofa'u. So, an example we can say, ya rofa'u yadehi in the dua. He raises his hands while praying or during the course of praying. Ya rofa'u yadehi in the dua. So another example word we have is the word sonaa. Sonaa means he produced to manufacture. He manufactured. He produced. So the present tense you know will be yes now because it needs to maintain the fatha. The second letter needs to maintain the fatha. Yes now. So sonaa yes now. An example we can say yes now lehu ma'arufan. He does good for him. He does good for him. Yes now lehu ma'arufan. Another example we have is the word Qara'a. Qara'a means he read. The present tense would be Ya Qara'u. He is reading. Qara'a, he read. Ya Qara'u, he is reading. So we can say Ya Qara'u Talibul Kutuba. The student is eating, is um, reading the books. The student is reading the books. So we can see the word Qara'a. If you want to form the parent, it's very easy. You simply say Ya Qara'u, just like Fataha Yaftahu. Another word example we have is the word masaha. Masaha means to rub or to wipe. So masaha, the parent will be yamsahu. Masaha yamsahu. So what do we say? We can say yamsahu jis yamsahu jismahu biyadi. He is wiping his body with his hand. So we can say masaha yamsahu. Another word we have here today is the word sorry is the word jahada jahada means he denied jahada means he denied so the parent tense will be what ya jahadu he is denying ya jahadu he's denying so an example we can say ya jahadu al-kuffaru nubuwwata nubuwwata the disbelievers are denying the prophethood of our prophets so can you say this ya jahadu al-kuffaru nubuwwata nabiyyina so ya jahadu is the present tense of Jahada and they fall under the category under the pattern um fataha yaftahu. Another word for an example is the word jama'a. Jama'a means he gathered, he gathered, he collected together. The present tense will be what? Yajma'u. Jama'a yajma'u. An example we can say yajma'u lukutuba firrofufi au firrofufi. So he is gathering the book in the shelf. He's, a, he's gathering the book in the shelves. So this word jama'a also goes in the pattern of fatahayafta jama'a yajma'u. Another example we have is the word khada'a, to be humble, to humble oneself. He humbled himself. Khada'a, he humbled. So khada'a yakhda'u, he's humbly, he's been humble, humble. An example we can say yakhda'ul mu'minun lillah. The believers are humble for Allah, humble towards Allah. So khada'a yakhda'u, also under this category. Another example we can see under this category is the word nasoha. He admonished, he advised. So the present tense will be what? Yansahu. He is advising. So we can say Yansahu abu 
Yang Sahul Abu Bnah. The father is advising, admonishing his son. Yang Sahul Abu Bnah. So the word Nasaha, Yang Sahul also fall under the category of Fatahayaftahu. Another word we have is the word Mazaha. Mazaha means to joke. He joked. Yang Zahu, he is joking. So at example, we can say Yang Zahul Waladu. The boy is joking. Or Yang Zahul Waladu Kathiron. The boy jokes a lot. So yamzahu, mazahai, yamzahu, under this category also. Another word which falls under this category is the word madaha. Madaha means he praised. The praise is what? Yamdahu. You can see the dal, which is second letter, maintains it fatha. Madaha, yamdahu. Madaha, he praised. Yamdahu, he is praising. So the example we can say, yamdahu sha'irul amiro. The um, poet is praising the amir. Another word which falls under this category is the word nafa'a, means he benefited, he gave benefit, he benefited. The present tense will be what? Yamfa'u, because the fa'u, which is second letter, must carry fatha in the present tense. Nafa'a, yamfa'u. An example we can say, yamfa'u al-mayyitu, yamfa'u al-mayyita amaluhu, amaluhu sayy, amaluhu salih. Yamfa'u al-mayyita amaluhu salih. The dead will be benefited by his good deeds. Allahu Akbar. May Allah benefit us by our good deeds. So, nafa'a, yanfa'u, also falls under this category. Another word which falls under this category is the word toma'a. Toma'a, to desire something. He desired. So, toma'a, he desired. So, the present tense would be yatoma'u. Toma'a, yatoma'u. Toma'a, he desired. Yatoma'u, he is desiring. So, an example you can say, yatoma'u fi ma'inda nasi. He is desiring that which is in the hand of people. Or that which is with people. He desires that which is with people. So, Toma'a, he desired. Ya Toma'u is the present tense. Another word under this category is the word Ja'ala. He made to make. Ja'ala. Or to make or to do something. So, Ja'ala, the present tense will be what? Ya Ja'alu. He is doing or he's making. An example we can say Ya Ja'alu Lukhata'a Makana Soab. He is putting or he's making um, wrong in the place of rights. He's putting the wrong in the place of rights. So, ja'ala, ya ja'alu, under the category of doroba, under the category of fataha, yeftahu. Another example word is the word dafa'a. Dafa'a means, um, dafa'a means, um, to pay. He paid. So, the parenthesis would be what? Yadfa'u. He is paying. So, dafa'a, yadfa'u. An example, we can say, yadfa'u thamana agaliyan. He's paying, he pay, he's pay, he pays the price high he pays the price costly meaning he pays the price um so much like he pays the price very well so dafa'a yadfa'u is also among this category another word which will serve as the last word under this category to make the 20 words that we promised to give at the beginning of the video is the word jaroha jaroha means to cause injury, to cause harm. So, yajirahu is the present tense. An example, we can say, yajirahu nasa bilisani. He hurts people with his tongue. He hurts people with his tongue. So, jaroha, yajirahu is also under the category of fataha yaftahu. We can see that all of the 20 ways which we brought in this um, video all fall under the category of Fataha Yaftahu. And we said what is exclusive to the word to the pattern Fataha Yaftahu is that this pattern, the present tense, the second letter in the present, the sec second letter, which is the letter, um, which is the letter Ta, when it gets to the present tense, it will maintain the Fataha, unlike the two previous ones that we either change to Sekesro or Dumma. So Fataha Yaftahu, Rahala Yarhalu, and all of these other words, they all fall under this category. At this juncture, we come to the end of this video. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit us a lot. Do make sure you like, share with your friends, drop a comment in the comment section. Until we meet again, I simply say, subscribe to our channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.